I came from Germany to United States. I came with my family, with my husband and two children. Uh, one was eight years old and the son was 12 years old. I came by boat. Some people take me from the, from the ship. Earlier in this century, many thousands crowded through daily to seek their fortunes and to contribute to the building of a nation. Beginning in 1891, most immigrants entered the United States through Ellis Island, located in the harbor of New York City. Unbearable economic, social, religious, or political conditions prompted 16 million people to leave their native lands and seek a new and better life in America. This massive wave of immigration lasted from 1890 to November 1954, when Ellis Island was finally closed. Most of the people arrived without resources, weakened by the troubles that had driven them away and by the hardships of the journey. Yet they had to begin at once to earn their daily bread.
Immigration provided a reserve of laborers flexible enough to adapt to the fluctuations in employment afflicting the expanding economy of the United States. Industrialists could hire and fire as they wished, knowing that plenty of workers would always be waiting at the factory gates. was a need for a man who could only carry a hod, or a wheel, or a shovel. In addition, the city had work for porters, draymen, and stevedores for which skill was less important than a willingness to toil for low wages. Unskilled labor built new streets and aqueducts, sewage, lighting and transit systems, and residential, commercial, and public structures to meet the necessities of a soaring population. I started working after five months. I was without a job. It was very hard to find the apartment or job or anything. So then I found it four hours in the evening. I have to feed my family because my husband wasn't working yet. So then I was maybe six months and I take my husband to clean the, the mirrors and the chairs and everything. So he was working maybe two months and then was before Christmas they uh, paid off about a hundred people from that union and, and they pay him off too. So then I get another three hours extra work. So, but I have to pay double coffee because there was not one place. It was in the two buildings, that job. was on the Park Avenue and the other was on the Rockefeller Center. So I start, I was working one, one week yet in that job and then I get Japanese pastor, and I take my children to the school, to St. George, in the morning, and I went to work, and then after work, after three o'clock when they come from school, I went home with them to make them lunch, and I went back to work. It was very difficult to take care of the two children and to go every day to work, and it was very hard work in the kitchen. Most of the newcomers were unskilled laborers. Hours were long, conditions harsh, wages low, and periods of unemployment frequent and extended. There was three family, two with two children, and one was without the children. And the rest, and it was only men. So there was 15 people in one room. Poverty forced many into crowded slums where they were ready victims of illness and high mortality rates.
there were men and women who were able to rise out of poverty. These groups would become the guiding personalities of the future. So in Germany, when I went to school to learn how to sew the, the clothes, and I went to school for nine months to learn the English language, which was very good for me. Immigrants were strangers, separated from others by religious, cultural, and linguistic differences. They realized no one was going to take responsibility for them. Through politics, they strove for and achieved control over their own existence. A lot of people come. They didn't have no money at all. So to, to have it, something to buy a food. And first of all, then, when I come to this country on Saturday, and I went to sign my children to school. So I went over there, I signed my children, and by the way home, I stepped to this store to buy my first quart of milk and my first bread. This store. And after 10 years, I bought the store. Attenzione! Per buona usanza, spalla per spalla, panza per panza, ora balliamo la nostra danza. Musica, maestro! Mamma mia, dammi cento lire che in America voglio andare, voglio andare, che in America voglio andare. Ellis Island was closed in 1954. But since then, each year, thousands of immigrants have entered the United States in one way or another. Political refugees, quota immigrants, people with skills needed to fill manpower shortages. <laughs> <laughs> 